guys, Kalila here, or Callie, and welcome to another video, or welcome back. Oh, I was just thinking, maybe I should put my name here so that people actually know what I'm saying, because sometimes I say my name, I'm like, hey, I'm Kalila, and then people don't know what I'm saying, so I'll put my name here. Kalila or Callie, either one is fine, but today I am so excited because this is a project that I have been planning for months and months and months and it's finally about to happen. I am going to be knitting a sweater for it. Emma Langevin, if you don't know who she is, keep up, okay, come on. She's a Twitch streamer, she's freaking awesome. Her fandom on Twitter is Tooth Twit, like Tooth Twitter, you know, because she likes teeth and I decided I want to knit her a teeth a tooth sweater. I designed it, uh, okay, designed it. It's a rough sketch. I'll put in some footage, B-roll, whatever, however you say, while I'm speaking so that you guys can see. I put it in my blog like a few weeks ago, but I finally drew out what I have been planning. And basically I'm going to knit a top-down sweater. It's just gonna be a regular raglan sweater and I'm going to duplicate stitch the tooth on it. For those of you who are not knitters, I'm basically going to sew on stitches on top of the sweater to make a picture. And it will hopefully be a tooth that is smiling with a crown on its head. That is the vision. We will see how that goes. The yarn that I bought for the sweater came in. It's in here and it is Wool Ease Yarn by Lion Brand. Mm, feel focus, get off of me. There we go. Wool Ease Yarn by Lion Brand. It is, an, it is a wool and acrylic blend, which this was a conscious buy because wool sometimes is very irritable for people. So I thought if there was an acrylic blend with wool, then it'll be nice and soft on the skin. It probably won't be as hot as regular wool might be. But also I think anything would be hot because we live in Southern California. So who knows? I wear sweatshirts in the summertime. So, you know, I think, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> so the main color of the sweater will be black because she wears black all the time. And I thought that would be perfect. Hello, she could wear it all the time or whenever she wants. I got five, wait, three, four, five, yes. Five balls of black yarn. I got this white yarn for the tooth. And oh my gosh, look at it. It has like these shiny crystal-like thingies on them. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, it's so, pretty and I was I didn't do this on purpose I just chose the white that I saw and then when it came in I was like oh my gosh it has some shininess on it which is so cute so it's gonna be a shiny tooth <laughs> oh my gosh I'm sorry I'm ranting on and on but it's gonna be so this is gonna be the first time I'm doing something with pictures with knitting I always did it with crocheting as you can see here I crocheted that corpse tapestry and now I got two balls of white and now I'm gonna do a tooth. It's gonna be so much fun. So I got two balls of the white and then I got this color for the crown. Let's put this in. Yeah, I got this gold color, bronzy. No, it's not bronzy, it's gold. <laughs> this golden mustardy looking color for the crown. I was like, I hope it's golden enough. And I think it is. So these will be the three colors that I'm using. I'll be using my five millimeter needles probably. So it could be a nice tight sweater and we'll just see how this goes. So enough of me talking. I've talked enough. Let's get started with the process.
finished the cast on. This is my first time working with black yarn. So this is going to be interesting because apparently based on what people have said, working with black yarn is sometimes like annoying because it's hard to see when it gets darker and stuff. But honestly, I'll put my lamp on and hopefully it'll be fine. But yeah, this is on 24 inch circulars. I figured there were enough stitches where this could fit comfortably. It could fit on the 16 inch, but I prefer working with my regular needles than my shorties. So if I can escape the shorties, I do. So here it is. Take a good look at it because this is what the sweater is looking like so far. Okay, just remember how it started for the non-knitters and non-crocheters who appear here. This is the sweater. Kind of looks like boobs. But this is the sweater at its beginning. So I'm going to start on the ribbing and the neckline. I think I will come back. There's yarn on my glasses. I think I will come back to update you guys when I have finished like the collar and probably a little bit of the yoke or all of the yoke. We will see. So hours later, many hours later, and I'm taking this off because my whole thing is twisted. So like one side, like when I try to make it straight, one side is twisting and one side is like correct. And I can't have the collar like that because you can't have a twisted collar. Like it's like twisted at one end and won't, like every time I uncurl the collar, it just curls on the other side. So I have to start over. I was halfway through the collar. So time to unravel, unfortunately, but. Yikes. Yeah, right? But uh, that's part of the process. So let's get it. Oh, by the way, it's February 3rd. I didn't um, show the date. Let me show the date. So February 3rd. We'll see how long this takes me. I will be doing other projects on the side besides this one. So I'm hoping to finish this in like um, two weeks. We'll see. But yeah, time to unravel this and start over. I just finished the collar <laughs> again wait I didn't finish it before I got halfway but I finished it now and I think it's like three hours later I think last time I showed you it was like five something and now it's eight something so probably like two and like almost three hours probably two and a half or something but I have finished the collar I know it's black it's let me see if I can get better light okay here's some light okay here's the collar done so far so now maybe I need to get more light I'm gonna do the yoke and the yoke of a sweater is basically shaping like the top part of the sleeves and the body part so it's like the top half of the sweater until like the sleeves split off and I'm saying that for the non-knitters out there. Good morning. Oh, wait, it's not morning anymore. <laughs> it is 12.35 the next day. I stayed up until 2 a.m. working on this. And I usually don't do that. But I only stayed up because I was watching Love Island UK. And I did not expect it to be that good. I expect it to be a cheese fest and I was just going to be cringing the entire time. But it's so cute. Like, I get so emotional for these people and I'm just like, I don't care if it's manufactured. I don't know if it is. It seem, look, listen, I take everything at face value. Everything seems real. So I'm going to imagine it's real because I don't want to imagine that it's not real because it's just so cute. And I'm not usually into reality shows like that. So 
I just needed something to watch in passing without having to start and stop the entire time. Anyway, you're not here for that. I have gotten to this point in the sweater. It's so weird to me because the neckline is like so wide. But I'm not used to making like bigger sweaters. I'm used to making like smalls or mediums. And this one is like basically extra large for some nice oversized ness. But this is going, this is going really well. I am going through the yoke. So far it may look like nothing right now, but this is like the top part right here. I think I still have like halfway to go before I split for the sleeves, but I have finished my first ball of yarn. So I gotta get on to the second ball. I have three more balls left for the body. If I run out of yarn, I'll just buy more. But so far it's going very well. It's it's mindless because I'm just doing raglan, so I'm just increasing every time I get to the stitch marker, and it's just it's nice to do something just very simple. But that's all my update for now. I'll just knit until I finish the yoke. I'll come back when I finish the yoke so that you guys can see what it's gonna look like when I split for the sleeves. I think it will lay better because right now you can't really see because the yarn is so dark, but. It's bunching up, the stitches are bunching up a lot because there are a lot of stitches on here. I think there'll be like 300 plus stitches on here when I'm done with the yoke. So when I split for the sleeves, everything will even out and it'll be, it'll look more like a sweater. You guys will be able to tell more what's going on if you can't tell already. So I'm gonna keep knitting and we'll see how it goes. so many days later I do not remember the last time I updated you guys like talking wise like I changed my hair color and everything at this point but if you watch my videos you already know that I already changed my hair color but if this is the first video that you're stumbling upon then you'll see that my hair was black at the beginning and now it's white platinum whatever anyway so it is February February 25th so many many days later but it has been a while because first of all I was just trying to get through the sweater because it's kind of um monotonous is that the word it's just like the same thing over and over and I just update you guys a little bit but this is the sweater so far I am 99% done with it I ran out of yarn I knew I was gonna run out of yarn but I wanted to see how far the yarn that I bought went and it got me to one whole body whole sleeve and then a half a sleeve or quarter of a sleeve so I only have the rest of this sleeve to go so I went out to Michael's today and I bought two 
more skeins of yarn. I think I'll only need one, maybe one and a half, but either way, I'm glad I got two. And then once I finish this sleeve, I will be able to start on the tooth part of the sweater, which I'm so excited for. I still need to like draw it out in like a grid so that I can transfer like I can look at it and make the stitch count that I need, but I think I just need to like count my stitches and then transform it. So it sounds like a lot or like it's difficult, but it's not. But I just need to finish the sweater first or I want to finish the sweater first before I start on a picture. I could have started on a picture at any time, but I didn't want to. Yeah, that's it. I want to be finished with the sweater I like at least the first two weeks of March so I will start working on this again in March like March 1st but today I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know where I am with this sweater it's gonna take me like a day to finish the sleeve but I'm working on another project on the side so I'm going to set this down before I get my brain working like crazy again to figure out the design of this for the picture so all that to say I'm almost done <laughs> Hello, hello. It is currently March 10th. I don't remember when I last filmed and I'm guessing my last clip said the same thing. But I'm finally done with all my other whips and stuff, things that I had to like get done quickly before this. And now I'm back to working on this sweater I'm so excited oh my gosh I cannot wait to see how it's gonna turn out like I'm so excited to do the duplicate stitch part which is the part where the tooth is gonna be oh my gosh I'm so excited so I think I told you guys that I got yarn I ran out of yarn so I got two more balls I'm I don't need two more balls but I still got them just in case and so I just have this much of the sleeve left and then I'll be done with the entire sweater and then I can start designing the tooth. I already have a tentative drawing of the tooth, but I need to get like the dimensions of the sweater, like the stitch count and everything, so that I can get an accurate representation of where I want the tooth to be, so that it can be nice and centered and the size that I need it to be, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna work on this sleeve all day and hopefully I'll be done by tomorrow so that tomorrow I can actually start doing the designing of all the tooth of the tooth and the crown and everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay. Hey, it is now let me show March 12th and I have finished the sweater hallelujah and let me just show you the whole thing let me stand up actually okay I'm so so happy because now I'm on a part where it's experimental I haven't done this before and I'm just like oh my gosh I'm about to create a picture on a sweater it's gonna be so awesome the vision that I have in my mind it's like perfect i and i didn't end up using two balls this is what i have left of the first ball so i have extra yarn which is cool also the neckline is very wide on me like on me it would be like here which you don't really want a sweater to have such a wide neckline immediately so i bought some elastic thread and I think I will thread it through the top of the collar so it just cinches in just a little bit but we'll see that's going to be something I do at the end but for now I'm going to work on this tooth count up all the stitches and then hopefully start oh my gosh I'm so nervous okay okay l let me do it let me do it Okay, on this sweater I put a bunch of stitch markers and each stitch marker equals 20 rounds or stitches. I'll just say stitches. And so I counted down 
and then I counted across and got the amount of stitches that I need. So now I'm going to plug it in to, the, I'm going to create a graph and start drawing out the tooth. This is the tooth that I drew out mm, last month. And now I'm going to see if it's going to fit on the sweater grid that I'm going to make. So I'm going to plot out the grid size with the columns and the rows and then see how this works on it. Okay, I have finished drawing out the entire tooth. I took the original tooth that I had and like doubled its dimensions. So let me show you, there are a bunch of colors and stuff. I'll tell you what each one means so that you can understand my thought process. This has taken me like an hour to draw out <laughs> a simple design. I just needed it to be perfect, okay? So here's the finished or almost finished look. Okay. So here's the tooth <laughs> that I will be sketching out or, mm, yeah, on the sweater. And the red zones are the zones where I won't be putting any of the tooth, except part of the tooth got into the red zone. So that is totally fine with me. I will just end up erasing this or I think I'll leave it so that I know I'm getting into the red zone so that I know I am like on the right track basically the purple right here the purple line that goes all the way up I erased it from here but this is the middle of the sweater and I kept that there so that I could line it up and center it perfectly and now it's just missing its crown I wanted to add the crown after I showed you the tooth and then I'll show you the tooth with the crown, but this is what it looks like so far. I hope it looks like a tooth <laughs> because this is the last draft, okay? But I'm gonna draw the crown and then show you what the entire thing looks like. Now I just have to figure out how to draw a crown. <laughs> This is difficult. The crown is not turning out how I want it to be. So I think I'm just going to stick with this for now, the tooth, and then later on, after I finish duplicate stitching this onto the sweater, then I'll think about like the crown or other designs that I could put on it. Or maybe just leave it with just the tooth. We will see, but I think I'm ready to start doing the duplicate stitch. I need to watch another tutorial on it so that I'm sure how to start it and everything. But I think I will talk to you guys again. I feel like yarn is on my lip. I think I will come back and talk to you guys again when I have like an outline. I'm excited. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. I hope I don't mess this up. But let's get started. Okay, 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 okay. Nervousness, go away.
Okay, last little update before I just like go crazy on this. So I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the crown. Like I decided I'm not gonna do the crown. That's, I'm not gonna have enough space, I realized. So here is what it is looking like so far. It's like I'm sewing over the existing stitches and creating a design. So it's looking cool so far. <laughs> I have all of this on the screen left to go. I'm gonna outline the entire tooth and then fill it in with white, which means this is going to take me a very long time battery died but that means it's going to take me a very long time possibly a week of knit a week of working on this like every single day but it could also take longer hopefully it's going to be a week because I want to post this video in a week and yeah but let's just see how this goes it is well we know what day it is today so the next time I'll update you will probably be in a few days. I have changed the design, added Emma's name at the bottom. So hopefully this is gonna turn out right. I'm gonna add probably some stars around here as well, but I just wanna get the main picture done first and then we'll come back to everything else. So round two, let's try this out. <laughs> what is today it is March 19th and I have finished the tooth BAM tooth is finished <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> look at it it's so freaking cute let me put it up against me like it's like this so here's the bottom of the sweater here's the top of the sweater and then there's the tooth. I initially was going to put so much more on it, but I was like, I think simplicity is better. I don't know if I already said this, but I think simplicity is better. I'm not going to add all, I was going to add like some stars and skulls and stuff. And I was like, I don't want it to look cluttered. And I'm really liking the way it looks right now. Just like a simple sweater with a tooth on it with a crown and it's so simple and nice, you know? And I was gonna put her name at the bottom. I was gonna put Emma at the bottom, but then I was like, what if she wants to wear it out in public and doesn't want like her name being broadcasted to the world? Like for people who don't know who she is, I was like, I'm just gonna leave the tooth in the crown, okay? It's just gonna be a nice, simple sweater. So now I have to do the crown part, but Look at the tooth. Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited for this part. Look at the tooth. You see, well, if you see close, you can see like the stitches and stuff, but I didn't put anything in this. So I had stitch markers here, so I didn't go in there. And then I went all around that stitch mark part. So when I took the stitch markers out, the smiles there and the eyes were there and it created this picture and it's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, okay. I just lint rolled the mess out of this because the white in here got like white fluff all over the sweater. And I was just like, oh, this is the annoying thing about black, but I'm excited because I'm almost done. I should be done with this today, literally, because all I have is the crown left and then I'll be done with the sweater and this video. And then I get to see like the entire process because even though I make it, you know, 
I don't really remember the process. So I love documenting this because then I get to go back and see like, oh my gosh, this is just so cool. So yeah, I'm glad I documented this. And because at first I wasn't going to, I was like, I'll just make it for her, send it to her. But then I was like, what if I just document the process as I go? Because it's my first time doing like a picture in a knit. So I'm glad I did. I love doing that. I think that's like, that's the main reason why I have this YouTube so I can document my journey, my knit journey, crochet journey at first and now my knit journey. So yeah, end up talking. I'm going to go do the crown today. And then by tonight, I should have a finished sweater. I will re lint roll the entire thing. I will take pictures of it. I'm going to put it on a hanger so that you guys can see like the full length and yeah, that's what's going to happen. I have finished the sweater. I will insert a clip of a video that I took of it yesterday. I had to lint roll it like 10,000 times because the white yarn just puts fuzz all over it. It's so annoying, but yeah, I finished it. I don't have it with me right now because I already packed up and everything, but as you can see in that clip, if it's still playing, I don't know if it's still playing, but in that clip, it is finished and it is so nice and so simple and I'm just so happy with it. I'm very happy that I actually went with just doing the tooth and the crown and not going crazy with it just because I can. Because like I said, I think simpler is just better and it won't look as cluttered. And I'm just, I'm just so happy with it. It was my first time doing duplicate stitch and now I feel like an expert pros and cons Mo mainly pros i enjoyed working on the sweater i did not get bored once i didn't feel an urge like oh i don't want to work on this like i was just excited to work on it every single time i picked it up the yarn choice i think it was perfect for a gift knit personally it's not a yarn i would use for myself because i tend to just like 100 percent wool and not acrylic but I will, will I use the yarn again? Yes, I will use it again for like projects that I need to practice some techniques on. If I need to do tutorials or anything, that is the yarn I will definitely go to. If I need to do more gifts, I will definitely use that because it's such a nice yarn to use and it doesn't feel bad at all to work with. So all in all, if this was a great experience. I am so happy I documented this because I wasn't going to at first. I don't know if I already said that. I wasn't going to document it at first because I was just like, you know, it's just a gift and I'm just gonna work on it on the side. But I'm glad I did document it so now I can go back and see how everything started. And oh my gosh, I had totally different hair as well. Oh my gosh, this is, this is, this is so much fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what other techniques I should learn. I just learned provisional cast on the other day and I think that's so cool. I haven't gotten to the part where I need to like take off that additional cast on. So I have no clue how to work that at the moment, but I casted it on and in this video I learned duplicate stitch and this year for me is all about learning new techniques so let me know what other techniques I should learn what you think I'll have fun with and I'll see you guys in my next video remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys next time bye